The Nexus 5 was one of the most leaked smartphones of the year, but here it is, brought to us with Android 4.4 KitKat. Google has teamed up with LG for the previous generation, the Nexus 4, and they've kept the partnership alive with the Nexus 5. So here we have the Google Nexus 5 for unboxing. This is the official handset from Google who has partnered with LG. LG actually made the previous developer edition handset, the Nexus 4. The Nexus 5 comes with uh, several new additions, mainly LTE, which the Nexus 4 didn't have. Under the hood, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor at 2.26 gigahertz. So this is a quad-core uh, crate CPU. It's running Android 4.4 KitKat, which is the latest operating system from Google, and it's strictly vanilla, so you don't have any uh, manufacturers getting in the way with their custom skins. It's a 5-inch smartphone with a full IPS display, so that's 1920 by 1080. So if we open the box and it just pops on out, uh, you can see that it does have a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 display there, so it did not crack. It also comes with a specialized pin, so you can pop in your SIM card. We have some multi-language guides, and this is a European Nexus 5, so we have an EU adapter as well as a micro USB cable. Now, so the phone weighs in at a very light 130 grams, which is great. You can see that the 5-inch display has a plastic cover on it, so if we just kind of pull that off and see how that goes. If we take a look at the back, it's made of that fabulous soft touch plastic. Uh, it feels really good in your hand, and even though it's plastic, it kind of gives them that premium kind of look and feel. One of the things that you might notice is that it does kind of pick up fingerprints just a little bit. There is a plastic cover on the enormous camera, so that's actually an 8 megapixel camera. And this is actually the same one that's on the LG G2, so this actually takes some really fantastic photos. If we take a look around the side, you can see that we have a power button. So that tiny little hole there is where the custom SIM goes in. On the other side, you can see that we have a raised volume rocker. Now this actually is a ceramic volume rocker. It kind of feels a bit customized. On the top, we have our headphone jack. And you can see right there, there's also a noise canceling microphone. On the bottom, we have dual speakers. And that is a micro USB port. But actually, it's also a slimline micro USB port. So you can actually plug that into a large TV and output 1080p. But you do need a custom adapter for that. So now that we've taken it out of the box, why don't we walk through what's going on with the device? The Nexus 5 is well-rounded in terms of connectivity, even if it doesn't have an infrared transmitter for controlling your TV like a few other devices do on the market. It's got dual-band Wi-Fi with the latest 802.11 AC standard, Bluetooth 4.0, which is low energy, as well as GPS. And if you're comparing the Nexus 4 to the Nexus 5, one of the great things is it does offer 4G LTE support. If you're just flipping around, the KitKat interface is clean, simple, and colorful. It's exactly what you would expect from a vanilla Android experience. It's easy and intuitive to use, especially when you compare it to overly complex skins that some of Google's partners have slapped on. So one of the things that's new within KitKat is if you swipe to the left, you can access Google Now, and the same if you swipe from the bottom. Google Now's cards haven't really been improved. They're the same as what you're used to in previous generations. So it's just the way that you access them that's just a little bit different. So they've actually simplified things in the back end just a little bit. You have the same kind of transparencies when you're switching between apps pages, but what you'll notice is that the widgets are now gone. So how you actually access that is you go back to the home screen and then you long press on anywhere where there is a blank space. And that will actually pull up where you find the widgets. I actually go through the top 10 new features within KitKat in uh, just under three minutes. So if you want to check out that video, it's just right up here. Google doesn't really advertise Nexus devices to the masses in the same way that Samsung or Apple does. And Nexus devices are generally not exactly on par with other flagship handsets in terms of build quality and performance. However, the Nexus 5 is definitely one of the best smartphones around, and it definitely is one of the best value. Android smartphones around. Yeah.